just had the most embarrassing experience trying to order in a German Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Hi guys, it's Tia and I'm currently in Essen, Germany. I don't know what you're thinking. I didn't even finish the part two of the Italy vlog and here I am popping up on the other side of the continent. But actually, funny story, my good friend from school, Claudia, is doing an internship here and she invited me to spend the weekend with her because she's living here for the summer. And so I thought I'd bring you guys along on my little German weekend adventure. Try the donut. It will be I'm, I'm not Italians, try. Italians react I'm to not, American not, <laughs> donuts. I'm not gonna try. And I'll I, put I, you on BuzzFeed. Yeah, yeah, I even had a cappuccino in Austria. Germany and Italy. Oh my god. People. People just, I don't know, in Italy it happens that you go to a restaurant or you go to a bar and people just start talking to you randomly and this never, never happens here. Like people are just distanziert, <laughs> as uh, here they say, they're just putting distance between you and them. But a good thing about Germany, everybody's so kind and polite. Like when you ask for, uh, I don't know, direction in the street or you ask for things, Everybody's there, everybody helps. Super nice, super polite. This is something that never happens in Italy. Most of the people know English. Yeah, here. Yes, no, not in Italy. <laughs> Guys, it is June 27th and it is freaking cold in Germany. And you don't even came here last week. Last week it was crazy. Apparently last week it was colder, but wow. I mean, I know I was just complaining about how hot it was in Milan. Okay, it's not like freezing cold, it's just not summer. It is what? I think it, it said it's like 50 degrees, 49 degrees. Um, yeah, 20 is for the European. <laughs> 20 for um, Celsius. 20 degrees Celsius. More like sweater weather, and I was not prepared. <laughs> Primark, we need one of these in Milan. I looked it up and it said it should be coming the end of this year. Should it? Yeah, Germany's cool. Germany's cool. It's like, it kind of reminds me of America and Italy. Granted, I only have two places to compare it to. I've only ever been <laughs> to America and Italy. But like, it's very organized, very clean, very European like Italy. Well, minus Not the organized. organized. <laughs> minus the organized. It's organized like USA, but clean and European like Italy. So it's pretty cool. I can't describe it. When you're in Italy, everything feels so laid back and everybody's smiling at you and telling you you're beautiful all the time. Yeah. Okay, there's an economic crisis, but you still feel awesome. Yeah. Here in Germany, I don't know, from what I've seen, the weather is really gray. It was so weird. I went to sleep on the plane and it was beautiful and sunny outside. And then when I woke up in Germany, it wasn't even cloudy, just gray. Uh, yeah. Everything <laughs> gray. I would get depressed. Time to catch our train to Cologne. We're walking through this beautiful street. Oh, that is a moment that will never, you will never see this again. <laughs> never. Not in Germany. A moment of affection. Yeah. Public. <laughs> a public display of affection. No, you guys, okay, you just saw a atypical German moment. The place has this corner where they make yeah. the, the hot real, dogs, yeah. the German yeah. Wurstel. 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 If you ask for a hot dog, no one will <laughs> consider you. <laughs> rebuilt everything mm -hmm. after the war because this place like uh, the whole rural area was completely destroyed so you find like random uh, ancient objects or ancient ah. places inside of very modern things because they try cool. to yeah keep everything that resisted no but i love that when you see the old and the new even in milan they did it too because I guess Milan got bombed a lot too. Yeah, the yeah. Germans destroyed it when they came. Yeah, but here was worse. Worse. Yeah. What for? When I ask you. For the Jewish channel. Oh, cool. Yeah. Super. 
Ask him if he wants to be on YouTube. Ja, aber nicht auf Englisch. Okay. Not in English. Oh, it's okay. Just say hi. Okay. Hi, peace. Okay. We had to go to Starbucks because Dunkin' Donuts wasn't good enough for Claudia. No. Too See? American. This seems an Italian coffee. It is not, but it seems. At least we'll try. <laughs> Okay, what was I saying? All right, I was kind of saying that I was surprised by how diverse and multicultural yeah. Germany is because the way you see Germany portrayed in the media is like super, I don't know, German. Mm -hmm. Angela Merkel said that multiculturalism doesn't it's work in Germany. Germany. Yeah, but then I got, get here and I see black people, I see lots of Middle Eastern people, yeah. Turkish people and they all speak German and look really integrated. Whereas in, in Milan, okay, it's diverse, but you can definitely see who is an, in a, is, who's an, a migrant yeah. or an immigrant. They, they usually have like a harder life in Italy and they're just not as integrated. No, Their kids here, will be, but the immigrants themselves yeah, aren't. Especially since here, the immigration were, was a long time ago, uh, like in the 60s. So the, now they're, I think that Germany is pretty multicultural. And yeah, I mean, already. I keep seeing all these beautiful black people everywhere, and you think they're American, speaking and then you hear them. German, yeah, yeah, then you hear them speaking German. There's a lot of black people here, and a lot of interracial couples. I'm surprised. Good for you, Germany. Unlike all the Muslims here, they're all in their traditional, mm -hmm. their hijabs and their burqas. Yeah, in the public places. Even when we go to like Primark or wherever, you'll see a Muslim cashier, um, cashier lady, and mm -hmm. she's in all of her traditional clothes, and it's cool. They're very integrated into society. It's yep. very normal here. Secondo me, in my opinion, Germany looks a lot like Northeast USA in terms of like the trees okay. and the weather. Come on, tell me this doesn't look like Connecticut to you. Uh, I've never been in Connecticut. <laughs> I've been in New York and this does not seem New York. New York doesn't have trees, girl. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But, it, I mean, it definitely looks different than Italy. I don't see any palm trees. Uh, you don't see palm trees yes, in Milan. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yes, you yeah, do. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes. You're right. <laughs> in the north, you see palm trees. Okay, hey guys, we finally arrived at the station in Cologne, only an hour late after all that chaos at the other train station. Um, yeah, I'm waiting for Claudia to get out of the bathroom, and then we're gonna have lunch, and then we're going to explore. This is Cologne Central Station. <gasps> you guys, it's the Duomo of Cologne! <laughs> It is. It's huge. And gothic. Yes, but okay, that's how you can see the similarities between this Duomo and Duomo di Milano because Duomo in Milano is gothic too. Yeah, more or less, but here it's a body bit more extreme. Mm -hmm. Because Italy was the uh, homeland of mm -hmm. Renaissance, and Renaissance is the country of gothic. Right, right. Wait for lunch. 
I'm so shocked with how many American food places they have that aren't just McDonald's. Today we had breakfast at Dunkin' Donuts. Now we're gonna have lunch at Subway. It's like home away from home. lunch at Subway. It was actually kind of expensive and heads up if you're coming to Germany they don't have still water or at least you have to ask specially for it. Yeah yeah yeah. Oh, How do you say that? Stillwasser. Okay Stillwasser. Yeah. Went to the machine to get the water and it was sparkling and I hate sparkling water. be like pizza piccolo but it's really pizza piccola <laughs> yeah and there's a giant bus coming <laughs> me and Claudia are literally so shocked right now because every time we go to a crosswalk the cars actually stop for us what is the glass law what huh the class law the what? crosswalk ah, crosswalk. yes the zebra to some. Ma che bella! Questa roba! I love you guys. Like in Paris and in Rome, also in Cologne, lovers lock their love on the bridge. <laughs> This place reminds me of Parco, di Cas Parco Castello. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Come si dice? Parco Castello. A Milano. Parco Sempione, quello di Castello. Parco Sempione, sì. Si. Si. Dove c'è il castello? Sforzesco. Sforz. I can't say their last name, <laughs> honestly. The other day, a bird pooped on me. Really? <laughs> yeah, me and Enrico were walking back Porta from fortuna. the grocery. That's what they say. Yeah. There's so many fake Italian restaurants. Look, numbers and letters. Wow. Another bachelorette party. Bachelorette party. Bye bye Cologne, it's been real. Um, what did we learn today? We learned that Cologne is the bachelor bachelorette party city. There's like a billion. <laughs> We learned that German trains aren't just because they're German doesn't mean they're good. No. The service. Not at all. <laughs> okay, here we are the next day. My last day in Germany. As you can see, everything is closed because it's Sunday. Germany. Germany takes Sunday. Lots really of serious. Really serious. Dang, at least in Milan, the stores will be open until maybe six or something. No, nothing. Nothing. We were on this street yesterday and now it's dead. But anyways, you guys, we walked like 19 kilometers yesterday. I'll let you guys go look that up. But it's a lot. It's a lot. If you're coming to Europe to tour, be prepared to walk. Yeah. A lot. And was so proud of that girl. <laughs> when she came here, she couldn't not even walk for like five kilometers. <laughs> which is standard every day. Standard. When somebody shouts in anger in German, it sounds a million yeah. times worse. <laughs> there was this guy flipping out at the train station yesterday, and I couldn't tell if he was gonna kill the worker or. But it was so bizarre. Yeah. 
Just arrived at Dusseldorf Central Station. Cool airport service, no not airport service, but at the big train stations. A lot of them have like places where you can put your luggage. I just put all my suitcases in a locker and when I'm for four euros and when I'm done sightseeing I can go get them. Pretty cool. I don't think I've ever heard of something like that in Milan. Dusseldorf has a nice like underground feeling it. Dusseldorfian Metro. Claudia, where are we? We are in the Altstadt, which means old city. In mm. And now we're gonna follow the sign to get there. <laughs> <laughs> You got your Burger King, you got your Intimissimi, Clark's. The street here is called the, the Altstadt, mm -hmm. and, which means old city, mm -hmm. but it's called like this. Come here, you can see it better. Here there are all these old characteristic buildings, <laughs> and uh, it's called like this even if actually it's not old because it has been all rebuilt after the Second World War because it has all been bombed but it's been quite, I don't know, uh, faithfully I don't know how to say that Got in English, it. yeah and that there you have the belt and this is quite famous Got it Okay Cool You say it's the municipal building, oh, okay. the yeah. government building, and that there's house yeah, in, in German. and there's no German flags. I guess those are the Dusseldorf flags there. I guess I don't know. Yeah, this strange. I didn't know do that, but yeah. Chocolate, chocolate. Yeah, dear. <sighs> This I've never seen so many blonde people in my life <laughs> in one place. Not here, but during this trip. But there, at the same time, while I was surprised by all the blonde people, there was a lot of brunettes as well, and redheads as well. We stopped and we picked up this ice cream cone. It's mango and pistachio flavored. This place even had like salmon flavored ice cream. Done. One time I went to an ice cream place Bono. where they had, yeah, right? Strano. Strano but Buono. Mm. One time I went to an ice cream place with mushroom flavored ice cream. Yum. It's not so good. I like all the trams and stuff they have here.
starting to look really cool. Like Dusseldorf is a really nice modern city. So many Audis and BMWs and Mercedes. <laughs> Very, very beautiful. If Cologne was more touristic, I think Dusseldorf is more beautiful. Yeah. We are somehow going to go up there, that pointy thing. Seems like there's a party. Feast your eyes on Dusseldorf. What is this tower called? Rheinturm? Let me see. You can see a whole Rheinturm. Rheinturm. You can see everything. You guys, my camera is dying, so it looks like this is going to be the end of our Germany tour. I'm going back to the airport in a few hours anyways to return to Milan. I hope you guys liked this video. I sure did like this trip. Like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.